looks like really standard picks from both sides. Yeah, most of the staples are here. Uh, trying to think what I would even consider different here. Looks like Shen is still deciding on his seventh normal card. There are quite a few options for him. He has any of Uranus attacks, that throughout attack, and he could also go Spirit of Fire since he's running mostly Chikage attacks. Fire would be interesting, especially with the uh, Mist Bane, but I don't know. He's, he's not going for the Spirit of Fire Dream. -ish. Purple unready to the last second. Like he had some some last second adjustments he wanted to make. Went for a rabbit step. Over there. First player. Oh, yeah. Can't type. Oh, now that works. Go. And you also, just as a reminder to turn the cards in yeah, his hand direction. face down yeah, before yeah, yeah. copying it. Copy that, fight it. I guess we're, we're starting the match here. Uh... Right, looks like the first poison. I think that is muscle relaxant. Yes, that's a pretty, I want to say standard opener. It's a good opener. Your two choices are usually muscle relaxant or the cannot take an action one. For muscle relaxant, it's really hard to get out of your hand because you have to pay with your aura. Yep. Yeah. Played it against Snake once, and he held it the entire game when he was gen <laughs> until he uh, played Proof of Nature. It kind of tipped me off that he was going to do that, but. Oh, they're in play. I don't know what this what this discussion is about. Now, Purple could focus three times and then play the Muscle Relaxant. Oh, yeah. That might be even what he's... Let's see if he has a better play. This is a pretty safe range. You could even save the reaction if you spent the Vigor. Holding it. All right, he decides to discard Song and Vigor and keep the Glancing Strike.
Flash. Draw. And. And poison needle here, so. Standard opening moves from Shen. And it looks like Shen will be the first player to get a chance to attack in this game. Depending, but it it's definitely likely. Especially with purple already moving back here. It's like, I don't know why you would move. Changes in and lets them backtrack. That was kind of expected, though. Um, I very slightly outranges. So. And Toki. Well, except for the very. It looks like purple decided to advance with yeah. this other action. This makes it very easy for Shen to get into range for. Yep, hit with all the attacks in his hands if it goes. I think he's going to take a little bit of a safer option and keep concealment against a possible brain. Come out. And Turtle takes that for us. Yeah, poison Needle. Poison Needle, and there is no Song and Vigor in hand to dodge that. Yeah, that's uh, a little tragic, right? I think probably going to see the action poison come or maybe the flare poison, but that's can't see what it is yet. Oh, all right. No, it is the flare. It is the flare one. There's such a Oh, that's right. Flower for sure. Final and the. he could do right now is play that Kifune and then get rid of the Flare Poison. Mm. Yeah, Chikage is um, kind of a tough matchup for Tokyo in a sense, because you always you have a lot of reactions that you want to try and hold in your hand. Poison in the way of that pretty Especially the attack poison, since it also turns off your attack reactions. At least I think they do. Um, yeah, it definitely should. If it's if it's out and you can unless you can dodge it, like he had the opportunity to on his first turn on all flare and played it. Yeah, no, I like, the more I think about it, the more I like the hallucinogen choice, because Tokyo doesn't entirely mind skipping basic actions and sitting at two vigor, especially when you've got the light return. True. I think he's thinking about if he wants to set up the polite return or just spend the uh, two vigor. Yeah, at this point, he has to kind of play around 
all the attacks he's already seen because shuffle. Right. Instead of saving for a polite return, Purple decides to move to range two. Oh, okay. This shuts and up. get rid of that. So relaxing. My temptation here would be to take this turn pretty passively, but okay. Flash coming out. He could play the Miasma right now, or he could save it for one muscle relaxant disenchant. Okay. Right. He plays it right now and goes for the last poison. Last one should be fairly easy for Tokyo to get rid of. Sadly, Purple can't play any attacks right now. Yep. He will be able to play his reaction on the next turn. It just won't cancel anything. For the hug. Um. Hmm. Dealment will deal with this. Oh, what? Did he change his mind? I wonder if you should just accept the minus two flare. Like what he's doing? Oh, it's like he's doing it. Oftentimes in Dogey matchups, you have that turn where you devote all your resources to the cleansing. Your and what he could do is play the Bouncing Rabbit right now to retreat to. I think it looks like the, he wants the. He wants to save or more when he can. Uh, Follow up with glancing, I think, but fortunately, he's not going to be able to cards. And he's kind of in the bad position where next turn he's going to be on vigor. Plays attack. Won't be able to keep floating the glancing. Probably thinking being passive. Both players are being pretty defensive so far, which uh, 
well, actually, Purple just hasn't had the chance to put any pressure on Shen. Shen has the chance right now to deal five aura damage and then throw in a Morpheus Mistbane. Yeah, especially if you uh, drop the concealment last because they can't choose. Well, this puts you in, in range. Explain the concealment first. And really, if they take a 2-2 a two, two to light, still a win. So, yeah, this is... And the good part is that the Amorphous Mistbane research is since Purple kept two cards in hand. That was, that was a smooth, frankly, kind of by-the-numbers play there. Research. Right, Shen has a two life advantage right now. Another Mistbane hit and purple dissolve range. Oh, right, that's the... For a second, I thought Purple had copied his own control and set it to the side. And Shen ends his turn on range 3, which is... where Bouncing Rabbit will miss on getting into range 4, Glancing Strike. But it, Purple's position here is pretty rough now. He needs to start playing attacks, obviously, but at the same time, he doesn't muster his resources. He's going to keep taking this. Okay, we're still in Q9. Okay, he's going for it. I guess he's thinking right now he just needs to get his opponent to 5 life and try and stifle the order. Back up. Uh, hmm. Is it possible to rewind it that far? Rewind it? Sorry, what's going on? When looking at Purple trying to take back his figure action. I assume they're consenting to this all in their... All right, there's the five aura. Yeah, that's really a uh, pretty perfect time for that because now even if Shen wears him down again, it'll immediately. It's a pretty good hand. Oh, not not opting for the capacity on. Guess you can with a. Uh... Oh no, it doesn't affect. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, of course, because he knows that Bull doesn't really have any. All right, since Purple emptied his hand. Don't worry about your empty hand. Chicago will fill. So purple could get both poisons out of hand right now, or he could walk forward into a brandish. Got an odd number. Um, might be tempting just to get rid of the action poison numbing agent on this turn and up for a bigger hand. the brandish. Basically, just didn't want to waste it by discarding it as an act there. Um, flash going to life. It looks like Shen doesn't want to dodge it with concealment. No, I think Shen's planning on possibly even doing an early reshuffle next turn and then trying to concealment into the final blow or not the final blow. Okay. Mm, that would be a good idea, since Purple doesn't have enough flair to defend himself with Immortal Flower. And you're extra safe now with the Muscle Relaxing. No, he doesn't even need to opt for the, uh, for the reshuffle. He can focus. Plenty of vigor here. Full aura. Problem there is if he doesn't refill his aura and easily succumb to uh, Irina's final blow as a counterattacker. He should fun. easily have full aura at the end of his turn, though, with two vigor and a full hand. He might even have lead. Playing around some. Well. Oh, yeah, right, the there's big, the um, needle with no normal oh. reactions. <laughs> I'm dumb. Yeah, he has one closer because of the uh, vivacity. Uh, 
And how many cards are left in full stack? I think one. Two now. Since this is basically lethal, right? Uh, Just one draw. Crush and he Just wins. Go one draw. And purple can't even attack on his next turn because of that muscle relaxant. Yeah, now this is a. Uh... Eric, here comes the final, or the Shadow Crush. There it is. Four life. Probably it. Definitely it. My match is coming up. It's that popped up in the recording. <laughs> I think we're basically done here. Yeah, he's not moving his life. That, that looks like a... Uh... Right. We're probably just having the post-game chat. Or maybe Purple is asking some Rose question right now. Oh, there goes the life. And there goes Shen playing around the final blow. How is it? Oh, wait, I guess the muscle relaxant was right there too, so that's just double sealed. Nine sealed delivered. This concealment didn't. Oh, it got played once. I was gonna say this concealment didn't get. Did it. I was thinking it's actually not so great against. Oh yeah, he tried. <laughs> he he tried his best. <laughs> I say the concealment's actually kind of a questionable card when you land some strike and slash. Or gonna... It definitely shuts down brandish. And... It also lets him play around final blow by sitting at range three. Mm, absolutely. Yeah, because there's, there's no way that the purple's going to force it out with slam or. Strike, I guess. Ainsley. 